All right, friends, it's T-Man, and I'm back with a new video. It's on uh, Greg Doucette. <laughs> Greg Doucette says, who's stronger, farmers or bodybuilders? He's got a new video up. The gym lifting, recruiting, lifting slave. And the, uh, I don't know, the acting builder, the, uh, I don't know, the bad list, WADA, acting builder, and Turkestron uh, seller. <laughs> All right, let's see what Greg has to say. So Greg Doucette says, farmers are stronger than bodybuilders. They are. Farmers are stronger than bodybuilders. Bodybuilders may have better neural drive because they're practicing at doing specific lifts. Now, farmers, do they practice at doing specific lifts? No, but they do lift a lot of stuff. They have more, they have more physical strength, farmers, as opposed to, and I can prove it, this video will prove it too. So there you go. I think all farmers should bodybuild. I think all bodybuilders should farm. I think we should all do everything. Everyone should try everything at least twice. See if you liked it. If you didn't, well, you don't have to do it again. Yeah, I agree. I think you should get as many adaptations as you can. Whatever it is that you're doing out there, whether it's farming, lifting, climbing, kicking a ball, I don't know, running. Yeah. That's what she said. That's what she said. Coach Greg, in today's video, who is stronger, bodybuilders or farmers? Brandon Williams decided farmers to put it to the test. And so he gathered a group of local bodybuilders and compared them head to head with a group of farmers. And so we're going to watch the video. And obviously, I'm highly biased. Of course, the bodybuilders are going to be stronger. But we're going to see. Is there actually a chance that the farmers could beat the bodybuilders? Well, I don't think there is. But let's stay tuned and find out. Today, I'm here in Mississippi with the strongest farmers I know. And they'll be challenging bodybuilders to find out who is stronger. I mean, really, we're competing in a sport where bodybuilders are literally training exactly for this, and they're competing against farmers. Now, no offense to farmers. Farmers, I'm sure they're very strong. I'm sure they're very active, but they're not specifically training for these events. And so how can they... They're not training for neural drive uh, adaptations. <laughs> they're not training for anything. They're actually working. They're doing real physical work, so they're building up real physical strength. He possibly beat someone who's been training harder than last time. And look. deadlift. Do you really think a farmer is going to beat up a... again? <laughs> Bodybuilders and powerlifters, a lot of them, a lot of them in the gym, lift. They lift for neural adaptations. They're never really building any muscle because it's based on an adaptation principle but they just don't understand that that's why they get something called UB gains and they never get any more they never get any more physical natural strength they didn't build any myofibulars farmers they're doing a whole bunch of different stuff so they're gonna eke out a lot more adaptations gonna increase more um physical adapt physical adaptations as opposed to neural adaptations like lifters in a crazy gym it's artificial lifting bodybuilder in a deadlift competition i mean think about it there's a thing called the principle of specificity when you train specifically for the intended task bodybuilders literally will do the deadlift and so they're going to be a lot stronger in comparison what's a farmer picking up again what's deadlifting <laughs> They're training for neural adaptations, neural drive. A bale of hay, some bird food, a bag of milk. I don't know, but there's no way a farmer's beating a bunch of bodybuilders in a deadlifting competition. It's going to be a 1v1. Whoever can lift the most amount of weight will... They, they still are going to beat them anyways. They're physically stronger than any bodybuilder. Win one point for their team. Who are we putting up for... Or any power lifter. They're exactly the same. Bodybuilder, power lifter, they're the same thing, man. Whatever, okay? Let's right here. Man, we'll put me up. We got Nick, Team Farmer. Oh, we got Steve. Okay, hold on. I thought it was going to be the entire team against the entire team. But instead of that, they said pick one. And so they picked the best deadlifter of the group of bodybuilders against the strongest of the farmers. But regardless of this, I'm still Sure, why not? That's that's the whole that's the competition. They pick out of the group who they want. 
Who pick in the body? How much you weigh, Nick? Right away, he says the biggest person. Did, he said, Greg admitted the biggest, strongest, the, the strongest person, which is the biggest person. So bigger is stronger. Get it? So what do they do? They pick this guy. Right? He's going to come out for deadlifting. They're going to pick the bigger dude. Yeah. 206. 206? Oh, I just need 360. <laughs> okay. Perhaps I should have thought a little bit harder than last time. 360 pound farmer against 206 pound bodybuilder. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And what? And so ads could lift what? Uh, 10 times their body weight, but they don't practice that lifting that, dude. Get it? And so now that I see that the guy's almost twice the size of the other guy, I'm giving him a little bit of a chance. However, if... Boy, well, he's doing pretty good for a guy who's never deadlifted ever in his entire life. This guy isn't used to deadlifting. You don't just simply walk up to a bar, never having deadlifted in your life, and lift, for example, six or 700 pounds. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, I think at 360 pounds, that dude's a big dude, man. He's pretty strong. Yeah. On the other hand, the bodybuilder seems to be a little bit shorter, looks to have some longer arms, and so I do believe... Yeah, well, he's shorter. He doesn't have to lift... Uh, f f man, there's, there's less there for him to, to lift from the bottom up, whatever. There's a shorter range of motion here. Uh, the, the larger guy, there's more range of motion for him to lift. Okay, whatever. If this guy is in Does the short guy have an advantage? Well, yeah, because he's shorter. <laughs> Excellent deadlifter. I'm going with the bodybuilder. Oh, oh, oh. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. So up now. He did pretty good, man, for a guy that's never deadlifted before. Shit. Next is arm wrestling. This time it's a little bit more fair. They're picking the top three in one group versus the top three in the other. Oh, man, there's no competition here. The farmers are going to destroy, destroy these so called bodybuilders because they're physically weak. And so I'm still picking the bodybuilders to beat the farmers, but what I know about bodybuilding is bodybuilders are not inherently good at arm wrestling. I've seen plenty. No, they're they're inherently not good at building any muscle. They're inherently good at building neural drive, getting good at lifting weights and jibs, get it? That's about it in an artificial setting. But they suck when it comes to physical strength, myofibular strength. Any a little skinnier guys take down massive bodybuilders with huge arms. Arm wrestling is more technique, in my opinion, than just pure strength. You no, it's not. No, it's not. He's lying to you. It's pure technique. No, it's not. There's a lot of cheating. People will use their body weight, try to pull on your arm and, and push back against the table. But these guys are not going to cheat. I, I think they're, they're going to do it straight up. So you're going to see. Farmers are stronger than these people. Stronger than people that lift. You have to know what you're doing. You have to train for this. And so if any of the farmers are actually arm wrestlers, they're going to kill the bodybuilders. But who knows? They're not arm wrestlers. That's the whole competition here. None of these people arm wrestle. And the, and the farmers, they farm. And the bodybuilders, they lift weights in an artificial setting. That's the competition just to see what the difference is. That's it. It's kind of obvious. But one thing I know is in arm wrestling, if you have a longer arm, it gives you a leverage advantage. And so perhaps he has longer arms. He's going to give him the advantage. Greg is making excuses because he's got he's got the ballot syndrome. OK, I know that guy with the blonde hair. He's always he always has. What is it? Um, arm wrestling competitions in the street. He's always paying money to do arm wrestling competitions. So he's he's actually. He's not, it's a, it's a lie then. He's trained in arm wrestling and lifting. I've seen his channel. So there you go. So he's going to go up against the farmer. Come on, man. And so as expected, the bodybuilders up to a strong start, up one to nothing. Come on! Come on! Come on! A bodybuilder that does not arm wrestle is, is weak. He's going to lose to all these farmers. Watch these guys lose. No! There you go. That's the proof. See, the other guy is a cheat because he has an arm wrestling channel and fucking lifting, whatever. He pays people in the street. And so this guy clearly toying with him. He seems to be a great arm wrestler. Perhaps he has experience. He knows he's got this guy. Shirtless bodybuilders, not making him stronger. He's doing his best, but he's going down. <laughs>
And look at the arms on this guy, but you can see very poor technique. He's leaning back, his arms going down. He doesn't know how to arm wrestle. He's getting beat by technique. Farmers, you win that event right there? He's not getting beat by technique. He's getting beat by strength, dude. Shut up, Greg. You're so stupid. That's three points for you. How are you talking about? That three points. What I saw is the bodybuilders won event number one, and the farmers won event number two. It is a draw. It's not three to one. What ridiculousness of a game is this? There were three arm wrestles. The first bodybuilder won. The next two lost. That should be one point for the bodybuilders. Yeah, because it, it goes to show you farmers are stronger physically. And two points for the farmers. I believe there's cheating full stop. For the next event, we have the tractor push. Whichever team can push the tractor across the finish line the fastest, will win and they get three points for their team if they do. And so here's the thing, the farmers would not be used to doing these high rep sets. When you're doing a push such as this, your legs are going to be more fatigued than last time. But bodybuilders who are used to squatting, leg pressing... Is this such a bunk uh, uh, competition, man? Oh, let's get these guys that, that have trained Ural, for Ural Drive in a gym lifting artificial shit and let's put them to do the same exercises that we practiced at, which the farmers never practiced at. Let's see how strong they are. They're, gonna, they're still going to do pretty good, the farmers, even though they don't lift in this artificial environment. So on, especially when they're doing high rep sets, 15 or more. And so the bodybuilders would understand this, that when they use beta alanine, it buffers the lactic acid. When you get fatigued during a high rep set, or for example, pushing a tractor for over a minute, you're going to have so much lactic acid in your muscles, you're going to start cramping up. You're not going to be able to push this hard. But if you take beta alanine, you can push what is that this? much harder. What is this, an infomercial for beta alanine? What's going on here? Oh, you need to increase your fake strength. Okay, yes, take some beta alanine to help increase this fake strength in the gym, yes. Harder, and so clearly the bodybuilders, they're training harder than last time. They're used to doing these high rep sets, yeah, and so sure they are. they're gonna have a huge advantage in the tractor push. And yes, the bigger- Yes, they're trained to be good at lifting weights all day. Okay. You are easier to push these tractors, and even with that 360 pound farmer, I still believe they're gonna come out short. We got it, come on! <laughs> Ah, what do we get? No. Yes. 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 And as expected, a huge victory by 30 seconds. That is not just squeaking by. That is a dominant finish. And so perhaps... Perhaps the bodybuilders were aware of GO2 Max, beta alanine, various products that help with your Jeez. endurance, your recovery. Yes, all these bodybuilders are aware of the GO2 Max, beta alanine, all that recovery and all that. So they could cheat at the competition, yes. And so, great job, bodybuilders. Way to represent. Before we move on. Way to represent, bodybuilders. Go go compete against people that's never lift and then pretend that you're strong and show the world what you're made of. Give me a break, man. So the final two events, we have the bench press. I mean, really, a bench press. Obviously, the bodybuilders are going to win the bench press. I mean, are we being serious right now? There's no way a farmer carrying around bags of hay is going to have specific strength to do the bench press. It doesn't make sense. Do you really? But they, but we're trying to see how strong the, the farmers are compared to people that have practiced strength, that have practiced that doing these movements, Greg. Get it? And the farmers are doing pretty good so far. I think there's guys out there that can Jesus. bench press, for example, 400 pounds without having trained in the bench press ever before. It makes no sense. It's not possible. I can't think of a single person, human being out there, who's never done a bunch press that walks out their first day. I don't care how strong they are. They could be 400 pound mountain. They're not benching 400 pounds on day one. And for Team Farm, what's you guys send them? We got Trent. Trent. Okay. Did they literally just say his name is Trent? I mean, are we really serious right now? If a farmer is on trend, I'm calling disqualification. It's not fair. Actually, it probably is fair. The bodybuilder is probably not that either. So this right here is 325. We're getting super heavy, so we need some support, some lift off. I like how they say it's really heavy. We need some support to lift off. They got one guy doing the lift off, no spotters in sight, and they got cement weights on the bar lifted outside in the cold. Should they not be warming up? I mean, this to me seems a little bit dangerous. Remember, when you go to the gym and you have a cold muscle it's very likely to get injured and so please get a pump on get a warm-up don't go for a one rep max without properly building up to it oh, yeah i think i would agree with that as well <laughs> way, baby. Let's go. it is cold out there man can you imagine lifting this weight and it's cold jesus
anyone going to try to convince me that this guy has never bench pressed before? He's literally got over 300 pounds and he's wrapping his wrists. Yeah, because he gave him the, the wrist wraps, dude. The guy over there, he's a fucking arm wrestler and bodybuilder. He has a channel that does this for competition purposes. Guy who wraps his wrist is not a farmer. Farmers don't wrap their wrist to go out and milk a cow. You try to convince me this guy isn't a bodybuilder or powerlifter and he doesn't work out in the gym. There's no way this guy is lifting this much weight, wrapping his wrists from only milking cows. Really? Oh my god. No way does this guy not train to bench press. He threw up that weight like it was nothing. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. He's a big dude. That's because farmers are stronger. Oh, 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 oh yeah! Oh. Dang. You know what would have been an easier competition? Just put the weight on, get as many reps as you can, and then have the other guy get as many reps as he can. Or have one weight and have all the guys go through it, add up all their weights, and then the other team do it, and see who has the most reps. That would say who overall is the best team in bench pressing. But when you specifically choose one person, especially if the farmers have one person who's a champion powerlifter, maybe it seems it's a little bit unfair. To me, if it's a farmer who also powerlifts or bodybuilds, then it's not really just a farmer now, is it? We got 15 on the bar? No, he doesn't lift, man. They said the competition was based on people that don't lift. These farmers, he said, they don't lift. Man, Greg, I guess Greg doesn't listen, but whatever. He's so upset. He's so jealous. You got this, Dakota. And so very impressive, thumbless Greg. Greg is so jealous of people that have natural strength. He can't stand them. 415. I was hoping it didn't fall and crush his chest. And he gets it up. Great job, bodybuilders. Here we go. Lightweight right here, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh. Damn. I mean, 415 pounds. The guy clearly is bench pressing. No one out there is benching 415 without specific training. So since Dakota. How do you know that, Greg? How do you know? He's a big dude. These guys are weighing over 360. Failed. If Trent pushes this right now, Team Farmer is going to get a point. Trent, what kind of farming do you do? Highly sus. What kind of farming do you do? All kinds of farming. Yeah, all kinds of farming. Everything that they do on a farm. Does he in fact do farming or did the farming team get a ringer? Did they select someone from the gym? Hey, what's your squat bench and deadlift? And they grabbed him in for this competition. Highly sus. Highly sus. Next event, we have the farmer carry. Since it's literally called a farm. Look at the farmers crushing them, man. Come on. Greg's jealous. Carry. Perhaps the farmers do, in fact, have a chance. Tired of typing tons of notes. Farmers carry. Perhaps the farmers do, in fact, have a chance. The bodybuilders, I do believe they should still win this. They have stronger grips from lifting weights all the time and actually strong legs from doing squats and deadlifts and leg presses and so on. And so I'm still predicting the win for the bodybuilders. Oh, shirt's coming off? Come on. Let's get it. Okay, the both the shirts are off. Who the heck is the bodybuilder and who is, in fact, the farmer? They both look like bodybuilders to me. I'm rewinded. Who is the bodybuilder? Who's the farmer? And so look at the bodybuilder go. He's not even doing a farmer's walk. He's literally bicep curling the weight. You can see the weight's so light. Rather than dragging him down, he's bicep curling it, running faster than last time. And so in comparison, the farmer has an amazing build. I also believe that this guy works out. Look at his physique. You really think he got all that muscle, got that chisel from just farming? I believe they're all bodybuilders. They're not bodybuilders. They're farmers, dude. This is the final event, tug of war. This is what's deciding which team wins a thousand dollars. And so in tug of war, footwear is paramount. You need to have a solid grip at the ground. One group have boots, the other have sneakers. I believe that's going to give them a huge advantage. Not to mention they got a guy 360 pounds. Weight means everything. And so despite the fact that I do believe the bodybuilders are stronger, kind of going with the farmers on this one with better footwear and with more increased body. That's gonna... But come on, Greg, you should be going with the bodybuilder. The little guy, the little strong guy can lift a heavy weight because he practiced at it. Why is a 360 pound bodybuilder gonna, why are you going with him? Oh, I know, because bigger, stronger. Give them a significant advantage on the pole. Oh, no! 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 Yes! 
Good job. Yeah. Hey, we yeah. tried our best. Farmers. Farmers, bigger, stronger. <laughs> It was a thousand dollars. And so there you have it. I got it wrong. I didn't predict it. See, man, I told you. The farmers beat these uh, lousy, weak little bodybuilders. Give me a break. City people, bodybuilding, <laughs> fake environment. They think they're strong. They're crazy. Who do you think was picked to fight in the wars in Europe, like in, in Italy, uh, when they had to... When they had to uh, uh, pick soldiers they picked they picked them up off the farms because they went through hardships they built their bodies super strong they went through a lot of shit they're the strongest so uh, the people that lived in the cities they're weak they're skinny they had to be trained to get it and even then they probably they didn't pick them right away they had to train them they had to do very specific training with the city people because they're weak they would pick up farmers those were the fighters those were the fighters dude these lifting, these lifting slaves, they're not the fighters. It's the farmers that were the fighters. So this is, this is like, this is kind of obviously it's a joke, man. Come on. Correctly, the farmers beat the bodybuilders, but I want to note on record, I think that these guys are in fact also hitting the gym. A uh, 445. They're not hitting any gym, man. Dude, they said they're farmers. They're not, they're not lifting. They're not, they don't do any of that. Pound bench press outside in the cold. You just can't handle the truth, man. Greg just can't handle it. That far, these farmers are stronger than them. They built natural strength. They got. They're built on natural strength. That is highly sus. That guy, he's training harder than last time. Wrapping up the wrist, but why not? I think all farmers should bodybuild. I think all bodybuilders should farm. I think we should all do everything. Everyone should try everything at least twice. See if you liked it. If you didn't, well, you don't have to do it again. That's what she said. Interested in any of the harder than the last time supplements? Giving you code Greg for fifteen percent off. It's gone up five percent. More rewards than last time. Thanks for shopping. Fifteen percent off. And bigger is always stronger. Code Greg. Can you hear? Subscribe. Click the bell. Eat coaches fake, uh, fake uh, sequel bars. They're gonna build you. A, they're gonna build you a muscle. Not and all his fake powders button comment to boost the algorithm don't forget to like the video if you like to watch one of those two bloops of course the yeah don't forget to like the like the the thing it'll boost the algorithm like and subscribe and support the channel guys come on support my channel forget about Book books the training books the circle the death book the circle the circle fake diet book and i don't know whatever the the, the fake plan diet book coaching plans and the newbie the, the coach newbie plan <laughs> which you're just gonna get newbie gains and never get them again and you'll be like those bodybuilders weaker than the last time anyway so just think about that you know what i mean and i'll see you in the next video man it's, it's ridiculous man farmers are always gonna be stronger than these dudes